you're a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. What if you just admitted to us? That Do you need you're no more stalling? Artist? What foundation? I was El Wood showed up on set today and was like, so your honor. I was put together with five sickening drag queens. Four of them are real performers and one is secretly fake. Each round we will ask each other questions and vote out who we think the imposter is. But ultimately, my vote is the one that counts. I can't wait to see how this turns out. Hi, I am Shirley but slowly and I am a drag queen. Hi, my name is Nubor Styles and I am a drag queen. My name is Jeannie and I'm a drag queen. Hi, my name's Calipuria and I'm a drag queen. Hi, my name is Bo Nero and I am a drag queen. Hi, I'm Joey and I have done drag once or twice, so I feel like I'll have a good idea of who it is. Well, I feel like I'm the odd one out here, clearly. But one of you is not actually a drag queen and we're gonna get to the bottom of this. But first I wanna start off, I wanna know everybody's drag name. Hi, I'm Jeannie. Like a genie, like yeah. a genie in a bottle? A genie with lots of empty bottles. Sometimes there's a lamp involved, sometimes there's some rubbing involved, but you go with what you can get. I'm Shirley, but slowly. Yeah, she's a comedy queen, she's a diva, she's an actress, she'll pull you in, she'll serve you drama, but she's gonna look gorgeous while doing it. Hi, I'm California, California's cute little pixie queen. I'm Bowanero, I am the indigenous queen of LA. Hi, I'm Nabor Styles. There's nothing special about me. You're supposed to let us say that about you, not oh, about yourself. Oh, got it, my yeah. bad. Sorry, oh, can I start over? <laughs> <laughs> How long have you guys been doing drag? Like 12 years. Wow, okay. I know. I look so young, you but do. it's been 12 years. I've been doing it for three years, but I look old, so. <laughs> it's his voice. This isn't fooling anybody, Ugh. so. I'm almost three years old. Oh, yeah. Just a baby. A baby. Just two and a half. Two and a half. Am I the oldest one here? I've been doing it 13 years. Wow. Oh, oh God. Are any of you guys sus of any of the queens? Like I will say there's one of us that's wearing black. That's true. Ooh. Oh, I didn't even notice. She's like, yes, take it in. And let take me tell you, in. let me tell you why that's a good thing. Only a real queen would be like, you can wear flats. We just have to judge on who's the prettiest. That's the question. Oh. Who has the best makeup? Well, who who's the best? I mean, I don't know, I guess. <laughs> How dare you? Jeannie doesn't have heels on. That's definitely sussing me out a little bit. The flats really is getting me. Glam it up. I'm feeling suspicious of Nabor. I don't know, I like to think that maybe I kind of know most of the drag queens in Los Angeles and I've never even heard of her before. Okay, wait, aside from yourself, who would you say has the best makeup? I think yours is super, super clean and profesh, which means somebody else did it for you. Oh! oh. oh. Also, oh, being good at drag is now a bad thing, apparently. Work. Oh. Everyone's very convincing, but Shirley was definitely kind of like a SLW, a suspiciously large woman. Those tits are too perfect, that face is too perfect, it's just sprayed on there. It's Shirley, she's the fake. Are we all just taking turns clocking each other's yeah. makeup? Yeah. <laughs> okay. It's criticizing now? It is very clean. This is You're right, it's very clean. I do love a graphic eye though. Graphic eye is hers. You've got glam, you've got glam, Latin music awards. Thank you. I don't know, I would say next to me, I think Joey's is the second best Thank of today. You. I was waiting and for that. I'm agreeing with the crowd. I think you've got really clean applications. So you. you're at the bottom of the list for me right now. I right? was gonna say, I've never been a bottom, but. Now I know that you are a real drag queen. <laughs> right. Wait, are most drag queens tops? Absolutely. Yes. What? Yeah. That's yeah. It's very surprising. It's, it's almost all of them. It is not true at all. It's a lot of lady to hide back there. We're all bottoms. We're feminine. We're just beautiful. And we're bottoms. She's a <laughs> 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 I actually, I never dress like this. I just did it for this shoot. What's your normal? Normally, aesthetic? I'm like, like I do like oh, scary, really? yeah. Okay. But I was like, you know, you let's. I was that. like, let's. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> She's like, you do. I do monster. scary monsters. I see that. I, this is <laughs> I that. clearly a place that does not <laughs> accept our intentions. <laughs> what is like your thing? I think I'm a stunt queen. <gasps> I was a circus performer before I started drag, so I do fire numbers. If anybody has a lighter, she'll swallow it whole. Yeah. There it is. Oh, swallowing's a talent. There we go. <laughs> uh, one for me is my Titanic number. I have a four-foot Titanic replica puzzle that I've had for 20 years. 20 years? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I made the puzzle when I was eight, and then I've had the puzzle since. <laughs> She's like, one day I'm gonna be a drag queen and I'm gonna go on stage with this. I would say my signature number is probably California Girls by Katy Perry. Okay. Not a mix, because I'm not a mixed girl. I just kind of like walk around, park and bark, you know? Yeah. I saw your, your ankle wiggle there. You walk in this <laughs> often? Oh, listen. <laughs> Don't look down, they're new. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> um, I do a Beetlejuice mix where I do Delia Dietz from Beetlejuice, the Catherine O'Hara character. If you don't let me get out this house and make it my own, I will go insane and I will take you with me. Oh, the test. She passed. She passed. All right, guys, let's Oh. 
I can't even reveal nothing. I just feel abandoned. I Hold feel on. hurt. It's not over. Oh, is that? There's a twist. Oh, what's a twist? My vote is the really one that matters. So I picked the bar. I'm sorry. It's okay. Thank you. I had a great time. She She'll was like that. my sister. She'll remember that. I just got voted out. That's fine. I can go to the bar. Honestly, I don't think that that Titanic story was true. I mean, who has a Titanic puzzle from when they were like eight years old? Oh my gosh. Oh, okay, I get it. Hold on, hold on, wait. Do you guys smell that? Oh! It must be these new scents that were sent to me by today's sponsor, Scentbird. Because it's not enough to just look like a queen, you have to smell like one too. If you don't know, Scentbird offers the best designer and niche fragrances on the market selected by their team of experts. They even carry brands like Prada, Gucci, and Versace. And what I love the most about Scentbird is that you can take a quiz to tell them the scents you gravitate towards and they will find fragrances tailored to fit your taste. Oh, and your first bottle will even come in a gorgeous case like this. You guys, I think I found my new signature scent. It's called Man Chill by Taos. I'm literally obsessed. I could, I'm just gonna spray it all over me. Give it to me. Also, y'all know I'm dyslexic, so I don't know how to pronounce this word. I think it's Cien by Adachi. This one smells, oh. And then behind door number three, we have Intenso by Dolce & Gabbana. Mm. This is also going to be another staple in my collection. And honestly, I feel like maybe if I combine all these scents, I might be able to like attract a boyfriend or something. So we'll see what magic I can make. Make sure you guys use my code JG55 for 55% off your first month of Scentbird. Or you can scan this QR code. Now let's get back to these queens. I'm heartbroken that we've lost a queen already. I saved you. You did save me. That was the twist. I thought we were a democracy and then ended up being a dictatorship. Yeah. That, was, <laughs> that was a twist. <laughs> this is the way of I agree with the system until it hurts me later. Clearly y'all thought Jeannie was the fake who voted for her. They all must have. <gasps> They all did. I missed something. Yo. Do you guys have any questions that could maybe clear? Yeah, what foundation do you use? Just asking you, obviously. Uh, I use Dermablend, but I also like was tried and true to a cosmetic company that I got my certification as a makeup artist with first. You're a makeup artist. Mm -hmm. What if you just admitted to us? Do you need no more stalling? What foundation? I <laughs> Let's get it moving. Let's get it moving. What kind of What's the foundation, Mama? Room are we in right now? What is this? <laughs> what the fuck? Miss L Wood showed up on set today and was like. <laughs> So, Your Honor. According to the pejorative. <laughs> I don't know which found. It's a lot of different foundations. I use a lot of different ones. It's right. A scary question. I right. Use... Go through the drugstore, girl. Which one is it? I oh. use Maybelline. Okay. 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 I used to. I used to use Cryolan. I used to use Cryolan. It was okay. too wax. It was too waxy. Then. Yeah. Yeah. Then, she, said, she said SEO. Yeah. SEO. Google, Google search. Google search. Google search. What do I'm googling it right now. I'm googling it right now in my mind. If you are someone that puts on makeup a lot, you're looking at the tube or the jar, whatever it is. You should know what you're using. I can't believe they came for me like that. I mean, we're supposed to be pillars of the community. Okay, I want to see some runway walks. Let's start with you. Sure. Model. Oh my goodness. Oh wow. All right, I changed my vote. She's clearly not the drag queen. She's just a woman. Like, what are we supposed to do with that? <laughs> okay, I feel like she made up with the heels on this one, right? Yeah, okay, okay. <laughs> Mama's flats. Don't fall. I'm just saying, they're still about a centimeter up, okay? okay. No, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Baby, how's the weather up there? <laughs> Look at me being beautiful. This is my runway. Wow. And that's how I do it, girls. That's how a professional does it. I'll go over to this side, excuse me. We'll stay consistent. Oh, we love consistency. Oh. Yeah. We're going back this way. She's been in a pageant or two, maybe. Maybe. Yep. Somebody get Donatella Versace on the phone immediately. <laughs> Aside from her, who had the best walk? I love Shirley's walk. Yeah, I liked Shirley's walk. It was all titties first, right. which I appreciate, so. Nobody's saying my name, I guess. <laughs> <today>. <laughs> Do you guys get compared to any of the Drag Race queens at all? Well, honestly, I have not yet been compared to any Rue girls, which makes me kind of sad. Like, am I not pretty enough for television? What the or maybe f you're just so unique oh, that it, a face like it. yours hasn't been seen before. Stop it. I've been called Brown Gigi Good, which was problematic, but I'll take the compliment. I will take the compliment. <laughs> all right, let's go for round two. Not the best at spelling. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. 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 Oh, God.
Stop. Well, I have a reveal. I also voted Jeannie. <gasps> How dare you all? I oh dream of Jeannie, goodness. but it's actually a nightmare. I have some Taco Bell waiting for me anyway, so I had to go as it were. And that's how you know I'm a real drag queen, because I eat Taco Bell after the gig. It's been sitting in the car since yesterday. I know. <laughs> it's still delicious. Do you hear that? What? The dogs were barking on the way out. <laughs> I was on Drag Race Thailand, and these girls don't even know. Joey doesn't know he's gonna hear from my lawyer tomorrow. I absolutely love Jeannie. Like, I think she's so funny, so it kills me to have to do this, but I think she's the fake. I'm curious what it's like dating as a drag queen. I'm dating another drag queen. Same, actually, I'm literally dating another drag queen. That's fierce. I am not <laughs> dating another drag queen, but I definitely keep my brows on for that reason. I don't shave my eyebrows because I find it, it's a lot harder to, I don't know, date and like feel like my drag is separate from my personal life. You said you're a stunt queen. Mm -hmm. Can you just split? Not like quickly in these shoes, but yeah. Pretty quickly. <laughs> Oh, crunch, crunch. Oh, oh, okay. And then also center. Oh, yes. All, all right. And then all of the this side. Yeah. If you want one, I'll give you three. I cannot do that. Okay, so you're not yeah. Unless you want to give me health insurance before <laughs> I leave today. I was going to say, this is not SAG. Careful. Yeah. What do you do outside of drag? Oh, that's Ooh, a good that's question. That's a good one. Well, I do makeup as like a freelance right. artist as well, oh, but right. I also like, I teach like dance to little kids, okay. so. Aww. Yeah. I feel like you're telling the truth with the big mommy milkers and the perfect makeup, so. What would you say is the biggest misconception about being a drag queen? Not to keep harping on this, we don't have any fucking money, you guys. Like, we don't have any money. So when you come to a drag show, please tip us. Please, like one dollar means so much. I'm not wearing fingernails because somebody didn't give me a dollar. Oh. So, tip us. Oh. Oh no, I don't know who to vote for. <laughs> First of all, who's that? That's not my name, so that's clearly not me. Who's that? I don't know how to spell. That's been my excuse the whole time. Okay, this vote is just because I also agree that we already got the mole out, but there was one more mole on the chin. <laughs> Drag queen. <laughs> Callie, I'm sorry. I see how it is. <laughs> I see how it is. I was too beautiful to be real. <laughs> Bye, y'all. I really did not expect Joey Graceffa to assassinate people today. I was expecting a democracy, like I said. We ended up in a little bit of a dictatorship. Going home as broke as I got here. I felt most confident about you guys this whole time, so pretty sure you guys are legitimate drag queens. God, I hate to break it to you. You're right. Well, we'll see. Will the big drag queen step forward? What? what? Ah, no! I can tell. I said the face is too nice. It was There's me. no way. It was me. I have a lot of help. That was not even on my radar at all. You that I win. Yeah, no, it's me. Uh, I am an actor and I am like a teacher for like dance, my little kiddos, but I am an actor. I am not. You knew like I am answers such, everything. I am such a fan of drag and oh. I love the art form so, like, so, so much, but. Yeah, I am, I am not a drag queen. Are you gonna be a drag queen now? Maybe, I love it. This feels too right now. It like now. Honestly, like you should because it's like, it felt real. No, just very, very gay. <laughs> but thank you. That's what they call an innovator, a forward thinker. We're ahead of our time. I knew she was the fake. Shirley was like the one I was the most sure about. And I was dating the one next to me. And I was more sure about Shirley. She was put together head to toe. Who did y'all hire to, to put that on her? Because she looked fierce. And also, I need some boobs to match the hips that I have right now, so if she's not gonna use those, can I have them? I was literally not expecting that at all. She like cleared herself in the first round at the beginning, so not even on my radar. Shirley, you should be a drag queen. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. And also a huge thank you to today's sponsor, Scentbird. Make sure you check out the link down below.